Any luck? James doesn't know. You believe him? Well, I do. He doesn't have a death wish. Because he knows what I will do to him if he lied to me. Okay. This has been a waste of time. <laughs> you put my people on it. No, you're not. I am sorry about him. Well, unfortunately, I'm used to it, but don't... Don't worry about Danny. She'll be okay. She's smart. Yeah, except when she's angry, and then she can't think straight. I wonder where she gets that from. Call me if I can help with anything else, okay? Thank you, Estrella. James? Are they going? What? Yeah, I just heard the car. Okay, yeah. Why are you sneaking in the back door? Uh, so when I said that I didn't know anything about Danny and Nate, I lied. You know where they went? Yeah, I might have told them a place they could hide out for a while. You what? I, I didn't mean to, it just sort of slipped out. You're helping your brother and my sister hide from my dad? What are you thinking? Well, to be honest, I was thinking of you. I just... Cole and I ran away after my dad tried to tear us apart. Yeah, you told me. So what? Well, did I happen to tell you what happened when he found us? My dad went crazy, and he would have killed Cole if I hadn't stepped in the middle of it. And because of that, I almost miscarried Sorry. James. What? I, I know, I know. Why would you ever think that I would want to help them hide from my dad? It's not what I meant to do. What did you mean to do? Danny and Nate came to me for help. They, they just wanted a safe place that they could lay low for a little while. Oh, and you said I have a great place. No, I told you I didn't mean to tell them. But, I mean, sorry, the way that they were talking, needing to escape, someone following them, it, it kind of reminded me of how you hid me when I was running from Bull. And you thought it was the same? It is. I mean, isn't it? I mean, you, you took a chance on me, Star. You risked everything to protect me so that I could figure out my next move. I didn't want to see you hurt. I know. So maybe, maybe that's why I, I let it slip to Danny and Nate about that cabin you took me to. My Aunt Vicky's cabin? Yeah. You told them where it was? I, they told me not to tell anybody. I, I, yeah. I felt really bad about lying to you on the phone when you called, but I knew that your dad was over your shoulder, so I didn't say anything. So you just sent your little brother and my little sister to a cabin in the middle of nowhere? It's not exactly in the middle I of nowhere. I can't believe this, James. You really know how to make a bad situation worse. I don't see how, Star. You don't. You don't? No, your dad was going to do whatever he had to to keep Danny and Nate apart anyway, no matter how they feel about each other. Now, come on, Star. Does that, does that sound right to you? Don't two people who really care about each other deserve to be together? I had to make... I am the last person who wouldn't believe in true love. All I'm saying is that sometimes... even people who care about each other just can't be together. I know, Star. But this... This is not about prison keeping you and Cole apart. I wasn't talking about me and Cole, James. I was... I... This has nothing to do with it. It doesn't even matter, James. You just shouldn't have gotten mixed up in all of this. Well, maybe, but I'm not sorry that I did, Star. Look, I really believe that you just have to follow your heart and do what it's telling you to do. So, like I said, no matter how much two people want to be together sometimes, it is just impossible. Come on, Star. That's Especially crap. if there's a third person involved. Oh, so you're really just going to let your dad bully Nate and Danny? You know, Star, of all people, I thought you would understand. I do understand yeah. more than you know. Danny's phone went right to voicemail. It must be off. Yeah, my brother's phone's off, too. I have to go. What are you going to do? What I have to. Ford! Oh, God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What are you doing here? I can star. You guys were up here. I'm here to convince you to come home. No. 
No way, Star. I'm not coming home until Dad understands that he has to accept Nate. This or else I'm out of his life for good. This is not going to convince him to accept Nate, but it will convince him to kill him. Star's got a point. I thought you were on our side. Dude, I am, but I actually value your life, so... No. We're not coming home until we're ready to. Star, there's no way that I'm going to go through what you had to with our dad threatening to hurt my boyfriend or threatening to move me away from the people that I love. And what makes you think that it's going to be so different when you come home? Well, because dad missed out on most of my life, remember? You know how bad he feels about that? And he does everything he can to make up for it. So if dad understands that he could push me away forever and that he could lose me all over again, he'll back down. Okay? What? Oh. <laughs> I mean, okay. Good luck with that. Star, we haven't even really run away, okay? We're just here biding our time. This is gonna work. Unless you tell Dad where we are. So wait, remind me. If I were going to rat you out, I would have called Dad and told him where you and Nate are, but... I thought I could come here and talk you into coming home. And I didn't think it would be too cool if you were holding Danny's hand when she did confront her dad, so I came to give you a lift time. Now let's go. No. Thanks. Look, I'm sorry you both wasted your time. Well, it's only a matter of time before Dad finds you here. And I'm not going to let you guys be sitting ducks. What does that mean? It means that if you're staying, I'm staying to do damage control. Sounds like a plan. Ugh. Oh.